everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Today, I'm going to show you what products that you can use to seal and protect your cutting boards. This is a question I receive very regularly from my Torch Paste customers. After they have um, used the Torch Paste product and did wood burning into their cutting board, they say, how do we seal it? So today, we're gonna go over a few things um, of what to use and maybe what not to use. And in order to have good penetrating um, and a barrier on your cutting board. So without further ado, let's begin. Now, there are some oils, my friends, that go rancid when uh, they're left out or they're, um, they have too much heat. Those are the oils that you do not want to use on your cutting board in order to seal them and to create a tight barrier. Now, some of those oils I have right here. Can you guess which ones? <laughs> vegetable oil vegetable oil my friends no good it will go rancid and that is not what we want to seal and protect your cutting board so this is a no-go coconut oil i have mct oil and i have the regular coconut oil these are also will go rancid so you don't want to use these to seal and protect your cutting board Lastly, what I have is, um, is we have extra virgin olive oil here too. Don't want to use that either. They all go rancid. Now, there, is, there are other oils as well that go rancid, and I don't have an example of those, but I want to mention them to you because I think it's valuable information. Sesame seed oil. Sesame oil, that's not good for your cutting boards either, and any kind of nut oil really isn't good um, for it and will go rancid. So um, make sure that you stay tuned and look at my previous video for tips and tricks, and I've shown you um, before how to clean your surface, your cutting board surface. So this would be step number two, is after cleaning it, this is how you seal it. But you don't wanna use these guys. So let's just put these aside for now. So we don't wanna use these. Now, best use um, to use is plain ordinary food grade mineral oil, my friends. This is very, very effective and it's affordable. It's um, very cost effective and you can pick this up um, anywhere, I think, actually. And another is butcher block oil. That is always fantastic for your cutting boards and your butcher block surfaces. And lastly, what I have is we have Odie's oil and it is food grade and food safe. So you're able to use your Odie's oil as well. And I like this, my friends, because you can use it on other different surfaces for interior and exterior um, application as well as cutting boards. So this is kind of like a multi-use um, oil. So we'll set that there. And I'm gonna make sure that these are in the frame so that if you want to take a still, you can. How about that? Everything's backwards. Okay, now we've been talking about cutting boards, but I also want to recommend to you to always treat your wooden utensils, okay? Now these I haven't treated, and I wanna show you another little tip and trick on how to apply the oils. So today, we're going to use, um, there's two, really two ways you can, with well, three different ways you can apply. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the mineral oil today, but um, you can use paper towels if you want to, or you can use a cloth to apply the oils. Now, I also, um, what I do mostly is I use just a plastic bag. And the reason I do that is because I don't want my oil to absorb into the paper towel or the cloth, but I want the oil to absorb into the wood. So, um, so I'll use the plastic bag method and I'll show you that because I don't think I've shown you that before. So what we're gonna do is, ideally what I would do is I would have a container, a small container, um, the length of these, and I would put the mineral oil inside the container, a small, uh, a small one, and just rest these in there. But we don't have that, so I wanna show you the difference. If you guys can see, this is all dried out, really, really bad shape. 
So, but we're just going to apply just a little bit. And I want to show you what it looks like, if I can. Here we go. And I'm just going to rub it right in. So look at the difference already. Can you see the difference there? And this spoon is just absorbing this mineral oil. It's fantastic. So I'm just going to I'm going to apply it liberally on here because it needs it. <laughs> and I want to mention also that um, I will do this. I will apply this because it was so dried out. I will allow the mineral oil to absorb into here and then I'll reapply a couple uh, more times just to make sure that it's really nice and um, and protected. So can you see the difference my friends right there? I'm trying to get the sheen on there. Um, so let's go ahead and do this one. And again, I'm just using the plastic bag. Maybe we can do some up here. You could use, um, have your gloves and things like that on too if you wanted to, but can you see the difference? It's, this is nice and that's going to um, repel water and it's going to have a nice penetrating um, seal on here after we apply it. So we'll just go ahead and do that. And again, I will reapply a few times. Oop. And just like that. Okay, you can use cloth if you want to, but that is how I do mine. And, um, and I just use the mineral oil as like a little lotion too. <laughs> just so you know. Um, and it does work on bamboo as well, right? So these are really great surfaces and um, I'm going to try, let's use the Odie's. Ooh, I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to open it now because my hands are all mineral oil. Ooh. Nope, I'm not. Okay, so, um, and then I just wanna show you, you could use a paper towel if you want. You just apply it to the paper towel. And this has already, this surface has been um, burned with our product torch paste. And I just wanna show you that it goes right over there, just like that. And this is going to seal and protect your surface, just like that. And again, um, you just wanna make sure that you are using a food grade, non-rancid product. Uh, you don't wanna use an oil that will go rancid, okay? So in a recap, we know that mineral oil is a perfect way to seal and protect your cutting boards and your wooden utensils, and it's very affordable. And there's also butcher block oil, and then there is the Odie's oil. We want to avoid olive oils, vegetable oils, sesame oils, nut oils, because they go rancid. So guys, I hope that you found this useful, and I hope to have you join us on other videos, and we'll learn some tips and tricks on how to care for your products, and we'll learn how to wood burn into wood using our revolutionary torch paste product. Thanks guys, bye.